Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create your very own circle monograms. They're not difficult to create, they take a couple of steps, but they're really not difficult steps at all. So I'm going to get started. First thing you need to do is create a perfect circle. So I'm going to click the ellipse tool on the left hand side of my screen. I'm going to hold down the shift key and draw a circle. And I'm going to make it this size to make it easy to work with. I'm going to choose the impact font for my letters. I'm going to click the text tool on the left side of the screen as well, and I'm going to type in my initials. I'm going to drag this out so that it's quite a bit bigger. What I need is to make the eye tall enough to reach to the top of the circle and down at the bottom as well. And I keep dragging it out until that fits correctly. A little bit more over here and then a little bit more up here. Now that's perfect because I want it to go past the edge of the circle here. Next thing I do is ungroup my letters by right clicking and selecting ungroup. You can also select or click the ungroup icon down at the bottom of your screen. After I've done that, I need to take the K and the A, shrink them down. Actually, I should have done that differently, sorry. Um, I'm going to grab a corner so that they shrink proportionally. I'm going to drag that back about to the center. It doesn't have to be exactly to the center. You can see from here and here how much gap there is in between here and here and if it's about even then that's that's close enough okay then i'm going to drag out this part of the k because look at where your circle is this is where you want the circle to be in your letter and as long as this part of my k is outside of the circle it's fine don't worry about this part of the k for now, we're going to fix that later. So now I'm also going to change the size of the A to be similar to the K. And this is where you're going to find out how helpful these crosshairs are. What you do is as you're dragging, watch the crosshairs where they're going as I'm moving past the K. Look where that's happening. So I've got the top of the A, okay, and the crosshairs go across at the same point on the K so that I know that they're lined up correctly. Let me zoom in so that you can see that a little bit better. I'll zoom in over here and selecting the A. Okay, see where my crosshair is? I want it exactly in the same spot as the A. So now I know that it's lined up exactly. And I'm going to zoom back out. about there and I'll move down here and now again same thing I'm gonna move up until the K and the A are equal at the bottom at, at, as well my A needs to come over slightly so that it's roughly about the same distance between this part of the K and the I and this part of the I and the A and <clears throat> excuse me I'm just gonna check the height again over here and then this should be even, that's fine. And then I'm going to drag out this side of the A so that it goes past the circle as well. Now that my letters are pretty much lined up the way I want them, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to zoom all the way back out. I'm going to make a copy of my circle because I'm going to need it again later. And then I'm going to paste the circle and I'm going to move that out of the way because I don't need that right this minute. Then I'm going to select all of my items. I'm going to go up to the object menu, choose modify, and then crop. Watch what happens. There is your circle monogram, but we're not done yet. Now we're going to take this circle and move it back over here, and we're just going to use it as a guide. Okay, and I'm going to double click the K. And now I've got nodes here that I can drag 
up over here. Actually in Silhouette Studio, I think it calls it points. Let's see, yeah, edit points mode. Most other graph graphic uh, programs call them nodes. It's the same thing. And I'm gonna drag both of those parts of the K past the circle. So that when I do, whoops, I didn't wanna do that. I moved it and moved the whole letter instead of just the node. So I'll just click my undo button. Remember the undo button is your best friend. So I just wanna grab the node and drag it down past where the circle is. Same thing with this one. And then the A, I will double click as well. I'll drag this past the circle and I'll drag these nodes down past the circle as well. And that seems to be done. The only thing is I'm gonna drag this part of this node over this way a little bit so that it's closer to the I, but I don't want it so that it doesn't look like an A anymore. So I don't want to go too, too far on that. You have to just keep an eye on what's happening while you're doing this. So that's it. I'm done there. I'm going to select everything again. Choose object, modify, and crop. And we're done. I have a circle monogram. So now I'm just going to select everything, right click and group. Whoops, didn't work. <laughs> right click and group again. And now I can change the size and it's all going to move proportionally. And of course, the way this turns out depends on the letters you use, uh, the fonts you use. They all turn out a little bit differently. Maybe you didn't want this much of a circle in the end. Uh, maybe you want less of a block font. Really depends. You can play around with this, but as you see, it's really not that difficult to do. And if you forget how to do it, just watch the video again, watch the class again, and uh, you'll be fine. So thank you so much for watching.